I'm here with Maryland offensive line commit Michael McMonigle. How are you doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. Good, good, good. I'm just going to ask you some simple questions about football and committing to Maryland and going there next year and everything. And I just want to start off, when did you start playing football and who got you into it? So I started playing football my ninth grade year. And initially, I was a little nervous because I never played before. But my dad kind of just pushed me to try it out. If I didn't like it, I won't have to play. But after my first practice, kind of just fell in love with it. And I just kept playing since then. Right, right, right. Who has been the biggest mentor along the way for you? You mentioned your dad. Has he been your biggest mentor? Yeah, I would say he's probably my, my biggest mentor throughout my life. And especially through high school, it's kind of helped me when I needed it. He's really been there for me. Has anyone else been a big mentor for you, like a coach or anyone else in your family? Yeah, like all my coaches have really been supportive of me. My head coach, Coach Stoner, and then also my offensive line coach, Coach Kreger, has done a great job. Like, I would not be here without both of them. So, yeah, definitely. Right, right, right. I want to go into your recruiting process in, in last year for high school for you. How did you finish up your year last year in high school um, with your last season, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it was okay. I have ups and downs. Like, week six, I tore my ACL, which sucked. But then I was still around my team for the rest of the season, so that was nice to be around them and kind of help out and coach other people when I couldn't play myself. So that was unfortunate, but I kind of look on the bright side of the things and just thankful I can still play at the University of Maryland coming up here soon and just, yeah. Right. How has that rehab been going? Yeah, so my surgery was, like, early November. And I've been rehabbing since then, like, since after the surgery. It's going really well so far making good progress. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Has that been a really big challenge overall, just not being able to finish up? How have you kind of gotten through that? Yeah, it was a really big challenge, like especially like even now, like seeing people mm-hmm. around me like work out and stuff to their like full ability kind of sucks because I really can't do everything yet. Like, I can't fully run yet. I can't do a lot of things. So like being able to kind of just be around people and still help coach is nice. But then not being able to, you know, still do these things is kind of unfortunate, but I'm getting through it. Right. What's the timeline on the injury? When do you think you'll be able to come back and start doing stuff more full go? So it kind of depends. Like, it's not really a set date. Originally, it said seven to nine months, but some people were earlier or later than that. So it kind of just depends when I get there. I mean, it kind of just everyone's different, they said. So it kind of just depends on me. Right. Right. What was your favorite moment last year in high school football? Uh, I mean, we've had a lot of really good games and also like really fun games, but honestly, just like the, the days before games, like just like being with your team and things like that, kind of just like spending like the brotherhood and like being with your teammates before games, like the day before games, and then just being with them off the field is really the fun part to me. Right. Go through your recruiting process a little bit. Why did you choose Maryland? I know you had some other schools that wanted you as well, but why was it Maryland? So I took two official visits, one to Syracuse the week before Maryland and one to Maryland. And it was really between those two teams. I mean, the distance didn't play that much of a factor, but being two hours away compared to six mm-hmm. hours, obviously great. Right. And then just like the things that outside of football that Maryland could offer were like really great in my opinion. And like the football is both great at both schools, honestly, in my opinion. But like the things that Maryland and Coach Loxley could offer outside of football really just put me over the edge when I was making my decision. Right. How did Maryland compare to Syracuse besides the distance? Did it give you like two different feels overall in two different programs or were they similar in a lot of ways? They were similar in some ways, but like also it's like the kind of demographic of like where they're located, kind of where they're located was a big thing, but how it was different. But then like both programs were great. Like they both had lots of lots to offer. So they were similar in some ways. Right. That makes sense. You mentioned Coach Loxley. How is he as a coach? How have you built a relationship with him overall? So I think I've built a pretty good relationship with him so far. I haven't been able to get down there to really, you know, be a part of the team yet. But my coach went to college with him, so then they knew each other already. I got to talk to him a good bit, and it was really just good times with him, I feel. Right. Have you built any relationships with any of the kids in your class so far? Have you talked to um, any guys, any of the other offensive linemen a lot? Yeah, so one of the other offensive linemen, Michael Hershey, I played against him. So okay. that's playing against each other. We kind of knew each other already. So we also also got offered on the same visit. We got also got offered. We were on the really? same official visit together, and we committed on the same night, which is pretty awesome. So I know him somewhat well. I've talked to other people like Anthony Robsock and Trez Davis. We've talked a little bit, so 
Yeah. 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 I've talked to Therese Davis. Therese is, to, Therese is a good guy for sure yeah. overall. But what do you think you need to work on the most going into next year? Obviously, you got to get healthy. But when you get back and healthy, what do you think you have to work on the most? Yeah, obviously, I'm getting healthy. Then, honestly, I think getting stronger really is the biggest thing for me. I've always needed to improve that, I feel. So doing that and then also getting to know the game better because, obviously, it's going to be on a different level, college compared Mm -hmm. to high school. So getting to know the game better will be a great help in my eyes. Right, right. Overall, what do you think is the strength of your game for the Maryland fans that don't don't know you and haven't seen your film yet? What do you think your strength is to your game? I feel like my coaches have taught me well. Like I know high school football very well. I feel like I under I can comprehend like our schemes very well. Obviously, it'll be different when I go to college, but I feel like I take those things seriously. I take the film seriously. I take everything on and off the field seriously. Like I try and put in the extra effort to watch more film and understand who I'm going against more, and just try and put in the extra effort all the time right right right. is there any offensive lineman that's in like the nfl or any maryland guys from last year that you got to watch a lot of that you watch film of and trying to take some of their game yeah i mean i've always been a big eagles fan so watching jason kelsey for as long as i can remember has been awesome i've always been a humongous fan of him just the way he plays and like he's a great guy off the field just the way he plays on the field is just awesome to watch right right so you're so you're a big eagles fan overall have you been the eagles fan your whole life yeah, my dad's my dad's from Philadelphia. My mom's from right outside of Philadelphia, so I was kind of just born and raised an Eagles fan, honestly. Right, right. Where does Maryland plan to play you on the offensive line? Have they told you that yet? They haven't really specified it yet, no. Right, right. But would you? What exactly did you play in high school, or did you play all over the line? I played right tackle in high school. Right. And also, played, my senior year, I also played right and left tackle when needed. So, but mainly right tackle my entire high school career. So you really can you feel flexible being able to go um, different spots along the line? Yeah, for sure. If I can just play wherever I can, it would be great. I can try and do it all, yeah. Right, right. Going into Maryland, what do you want to accomplish overall in your career? Well, first of all, you know, again, obviously I've got a scholarship there. So, you know, just like trying to work and become a starter is like the biggest thing right now. That's the first goal in my mind. And that obviously won't be easy at all. But then after that, just trying to become the best player I can be, honestly. Right, right. Thank you, Michael, for joining us. Yep. Make sure to get the latest Terps news at InsideMarylandSports.com.